Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Um, <laughs> I should have worn my pimp hat for this video when I pimped uh, Tarot of the Seven Seas, since it's going to be about Tucker Carlson and uh, his interview with Vladimir Putin. I can do it anyways. <laughs> okay. Um, this reading is going to be about Tucker Carlson and Vladimir Putin. This could have been a reading that I could have posted up on Terror of the Seven Seas, my other YouTube channel that focuses on uh, uh, events outside of the United States, typically in Europe, and uh, brings a new perspective or stories that you may not hear in the U.S. newspapers about events going on in the rest of the world. So if you're curious about um, international tarot events, go check out Tarot of the Seven Seas. Uh, I have a link in um, the community page for tonight's reading, which is going to be basically covering Navalny's funeral. Um, I was asking, you know, will the funeral happen tomorrow? And I got some rather surprising answers. Uh, if I interpreted the cards correctly, it seems like Putin's going to be continue to be petty. So if you're curious about that, and if I've teased it enough for you and pimped it enough with my purple pimp hat, uh, go check out Tarot of the Seven Seas. I'll have a link in the description. You can also hit my community page and find the link there. Or you could just look up Tarot of the Seven Seas where the number seven is spelled out and you'll find it there. Thank you very much. And back to your regularly scheduled reading. Michelle walked into the room in between videos and she's like, why is my purple hat on the floor? <laughs> gotta have a costume when I'm pimping my other channel. Pimp's got a pimp. Anyways, um, uh, a viewer about half an hour ago or so posted up that, did I see the news that Tucker Carlson was bashing Vladimir Putin? Well, that derailed what my second video was going to be. I was going to start trying to cover the whole digital world acquisition um, basically, there was going to be a SPAC that's going to buy Truth Social that's going to get Trump potentially billions of dollars in the SEC or the FCC was holding it up for a couple of years and it's approved and it looks like it may go through at the end of this month. But there's a couple of lawsuits involved. There's double dealings. It's very convoluted. And I was getting my notes ready so I could explain it to you. But this is just trashy, fun stuff. So I'm going to go with this. <laughs> and I don't have to do as much research. <laughs> I'll get to this back eventually here. Um, so, <laughs> Tucker Carlson bashed Russian President <laughs> Vladimir Putin uh, and his justification that invading Ukraine was the denazification of the country. And, and Tucker Carlson basically said, that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. You know, it's not often I can say that Tucker Carlson and I agree on something. <laughs> An amazing first. Um, basically, Tucker was saying that, um, uh, that, uh, Putin was like a, a, a nervous student who had overstudied for an interview. And maybe this is kind of in response to, uh, uh, Putin saying that he thought Tucker was going to ask some hard questions and mocked him for failing to get into the CIA multiple times. But um, I'm really curious. And then, then finally, just because Tucker's Tucker and can't, you know, he doesn't know when to shut up. Uh, his quote was, I'm very anti-Nazi. I'm really saying there isn't a Nazi movement in 2024. It's a way of calling people evil. Well, yes, calling somebody a Nazi is a way of calling them evil, but it's a specific form of evil. It's somebody who's controlling and tries to use the threats of violence to have their way over something like that. And yes, the Nazi movement is alive in 2024. Just because you associate it with Germany, it doesn't mean it's not alive. It's a political movement. It's an ideology. You don't believe me? <laughs> go, go take down some Confederate statues and wait for the tiki torches. Anyway, Tucker Carlson is... Criticizing Vladimir Putin. What kind, you know, it makes no sense. This makes no sense whatsoever. And when something doesn't make sense, it usually means that one or more of your core assumptions is not correct. And when you start changing your core assumptions and then some, suddenly something makes sense and it simplifies, 
That's probably the right answer. It's a variation of Occam's razor. Um, why did he change his tune on Putin? I'm not sure. Let's throw some cards. Maybe we'll find out. Entertainment purposes only. What's the energy around Tucker Carlson suddenly criticizing Vladimir Putin in his denazification? It seems to be focused on the Nazi, the Nazi part of it. Ace of Wands. I got the death card underneath. Um, taking strong action, a strong stand. Something's changed. It's the end of something and the beginning of something new. Ace of Wands, oh, gee, many Christmas versus Ace of Swords. Um, now, I'm going to be, I would be, all of us would be hard pressed to believe that somehow Tucker Carlson has changed his ways and is now going to be a crusader for truth, justice in the American way. <clears throat> That's what these cards would suggest. I have a hard time believing that because you don't, you're not Tucker Carlson for as long as Tucker Carlson's been Tucker Carlson and not be authentic at that point. You know, you are who you are. Now, does he lie? Yes. Did he use... The fact that he lies in a court case, did it protect him against a defamation lawsuit by Karen McDougal? Why, yes, he did, <laughs> amazingly enough. Um, you don't go around supporting Nazis and white supremacists to make money and then say that you're not a white supremacist or a Nazi. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. Yar who yar. I'm not a white supremacist or a Nazi, and I wouldn't want to go around making money saying supporting them. That's that's not who I am. Okay, so we've got um, Ace of Wands versus Ace of Swords, cross with the death card. Something has happened. He's taking action because somebody is taking action against him. This would be like the Anti-Defamation League. I know, put uh, sending him threatening uh, legal notices or. <clears throat> it's like it's like there's news coming out and he needs to get ahead of it a lawsuit uh an expose something's coming out um that he's trying to get ahead of and he's trying to kill he's trying to kill this thing before it gets a, before it basically runs over him <clears throat> there's even questions about elon musk and elon musk's uh <laughs> sensibilities or just this there's something going on. there's obviously something going on here this is just this is wild or you know links to putin or something like that he's trying to distance himself from putin but there is something going on i don't think this is just backlash from him doing the putin interview although that could very well be part of the problem because he's faced a lot of backlash with it maybe he's starting to see his um his Truth Social podcast tanking, and he's trying to take action to stop, to, to, to staunch the bleeding. It could be something as simple as that. In the past, we have the magician. Uh, Tucker, again, the truth was never really his friend, and he would never tell the truth if a lie would do, because he's trying to get people's emotions all worked up. So, you know, you lie, you create illusion, you, you fabricate stuff to... to it's like telling scary, making up a story and telling ghost, scary ghost stories around the campfire so that people keep sitting on the edge of the seats and on your every word and keep coming back for more. You know, he's, he's telling stories and they didn't have to be true. Matter of fact, the, the more false the story, the, the more fun it was for him, I suppose. But this is about, this is about him manifesting his money and telling lies at the same time, creating an illusion. Current situation is the five of swords. I do think there is some form of backlash going on here. Um, I don't know where the backlash is coming from. Uh, I don't know if he lost some deals. Like, you know, maybe he was going to be sponsored by, you know, he had some big sponsorships coming up. Or he was negotiating with another network and they were going to bring him on. And then he does this Putin interview and they just pulled the plug right out from underneath him. Something happened, and he's losing all these opportunities. 
because of what he did. You know, his version of Hanoi Jane, if you will. He's the Hanoi Jane of our, of, you know, of the, of the 21st century here. Overarching energy is the high priestess. What he did was foolish and he's now starting to recognize it. A little slow to the party there, Tucker. Um, it's almost like there's a boycott. It's people are talking. They're, they're like, you know, we don't need this guy. Get rid of him. We don't need him. We don't need Tucker. Who's Tucker Carlson? It's like he's going to irrelevancy and he's trying to stay irrelevant. He's trying to stay relevant. But there's this vibe that folks are onto him and they're moving away from him. There's a panic, almost like a panic there. He's going to fight to to maintain his position. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why he, he suddenly found God here and denazification and stuff like that. Um, he's kind of in a fight for his career in his relevancy. I think he's starting to lose relevancy. What's the outcome? Seven of Swords. Um, no, Russian thing. Certainly the Russian interview didn't look good. I do wonder if there is an inquiry into him about things that he's done. There's an inquiry and he's trying to, like I said, trying to get ahead of it. It's either in about theft, things that he took that didn't belong. There could be another lawsuit that's coming to Tucker Carlson. There could be a government investigation or informants that... Now, when you talk about the Putin wing in uh, in the House of Representatives, especially with the House members, and um, you look at Fox News and all the favorable coverage they've given Trump and Russia over the years, and then you got Tucker just asking questions, echoing Russian talking points, it's almost like the security agency started looking into him and started finding stuff. And now he's trying to um, trying to uh, uh, to backtrack a bit or something. There's something going on. He is definitely he's definitely running scared. Now, mind you, I didn't see any pentacles in here, so it doesn't appear to be money per se. But there is it could be reputation. It could be some. The Ace of Swords always reminds me of a legal battle that he's got going on. But something has fundamentally changed that we don't know about. If this were Trump, all we'd have to do is wait, you know, 24 to 72 hours, and then he would tell us what it was that was bothering him. Kind of like, you know, you know, toilets are terrible. You can't flush. They don't. Fl you have to flush them 23 times. They're like. What the God's name is he worried about toilets and flushing? And then you find out later on that, you know, oh, <laughs> he's trying to flush documents down the toilet. Now the toilet comments make sense. There's no context with Tucker Carlson here. The simplest explanation is that he's being boycotted, ostracized for that, for that interview. And certainly he's faced a lot of backlash for it. But to, to that... <clears throat> To then actually give a flying crap about it and backtrack and go 180? Somebody important, like that high priestess was saying, somebody important <laughs> backed away from him and or somebody important is looking into him. Let's take a look. Is this financially related? Is this like a loss of prestige, a loss of money, a loss of power and influence? Let's take a look and see if this is related to that. Three of Wands. Mm. It might be opportunity. He's waiting for an opportunity to come in. Let's cross it. Queen of Cups. Yeah, the, the, it looks like there's there might be an opportunity that he was he waiting for him to come in, but it's going to be paused because he's done something rather controversial and that opportunity is going to wait. Yeah, it's like they're going to hold off. If there was an opportunity coming in for him, it got held up. They're going to hold on to their money for a while. Hold on to the reputation. They'll let things calm down before they brought Tucker in. Choices. I mean, it probably came into agreement. Uh, offered him something. Something was, something was coming. Choices were made. Things were going to happen. But then Tucker had to be a damn fool. Go to Russia. 
and do that. And that screwed up his new opportunity that he was waiting for. And now he's going to be waiting a while. Or this company's now going to be waiting a while. It's like, oh boy, how long are we going to have to wait before we bring this fool on? Do we want to bring this fool on? What's the next fool thing this fool's going to do? He was going to be the star of it. This would be... Uh, I don't see why OAN or Newsmax wouldn't bring him in. But wherever, whatever this opportunity was, Tucker was going to be leading the charge on it. How come is the Six of Pentacles? You know, money being diminished to charity. Um, yeah, if he had an opportunity coming, um, it's been greatly diminished. They may decide, yeah, we're not going to go with you. We, you know, we were doing you a favor by this, or our viewers aren't going to like this now. A diminishment of money, going from a lot of money to a little bit of money. This is the, finally the first money card that came up with all this, well, other than this one. There's there's probably some financial loss in with this opportunity that's now not going to present itself. Okay, so that's the financial or the influence um, portion of it. Now let's look at the legal portion of it. Let's see if we can see some swords coming up here. Ace of Wands there. What about that Ace of Swords? What is there a, a legal investigation going on that he's trying to get a hold of? <laughs> I've never been a Nazi. Nobody asked. Why did you feel the need to shout that out to the ether? Is somebody investigating you for being a Nazi? Ha oh, ha! No, no, no! I've never been a Nazi! Ha ha ha! Nazism is dead! Who who's ever heard of such a thing? You know, it's like a self-tell. <laughs> I didn't eat the chocolate as your kid has the chocolate. Uh, chocolate lipstick all around their face there. Really? Hmm. Funny. Why? I didn't even ask if you ate chocolate. Come on. Let's see. What's going on with Tucker Carlson? Is there anything legal going on or investigations involving him and Russia that he's trying to get ahead of? Four of Swords. Hmm. It's entirely possible. I asked for swords. I got swords. Four Swords is, um, as a signifier card, it's about waiting, contemplation, meditation, um, things being cooled down for a while. It would almost like, you know, if he, um, or expectations, like he's expecting a target letter or something along those lines. I think there, there's been an investigation that hasn't been getting a lot of movement that maybe is picking up steam again. Could it be January 6th? Does he have involvement in January 6th? You know, kind of like, okay, well, no, Jack Smith can't do a lot with January 6th right now because uh, the Supreme Court's now holding up the case and he got all this stuff. So let's move on to the next wave of people that we're going to indict and start moving forward with that. You know, why, why, why waste the time when we could be preparing the next case? That type of thing. Hello, Mr. Target Letter. We'd like to have an interview with you, Mr. Carlson, regarding your statements made um, before and during January 6th. That kind of thing. Oh, dear. That looks familiar. Five of Swords. Yeah, something that you were really involved with. You had a big hand in. Something you can't deny. Swords, swords, and swords. Dead to rights. Oh, that card looks familiar, too. Overseas stuff. Crimes involving overseas. He's not involved in trafficking, is he? Probably not. January 6th? Possible. But there's stuff here. There's there's absolutely an investigation uh, coming on. And I, it's like, you know, he's waiting for that target letter. He knows it's coming. And he knows that he's basically dead to rights with whatever they've got on him 
or whatever the, the thing is that he was involved in. Again, entertainment purposes only. I'm just some random dude on the internet reading tarot cards. So if this were a legal case, it would be something that he would be caught dead to rights to. Ace of Wands, another card that's looking real familiar. So something he drove, his idea, his brainchild, um, he was behind it, a force behind it, which is why they've got him dead to rights. In the back, dark money in the background. Um, so current situation. It could be evidence gathering, talking with people around it. Could be money related that's involved with this. Investigations, investigations and talking with uh, witnesses in, uh, that's involved with this. Is it really about trafficking? Knight of Cups. We just want to have a friendly interview. <laughs> we just want to talk, you know, <laughs> to paraphrase. <laughs> We're just asking questions. <laughs> Joe, God, if I were interrogating him, I'd hit him with all these things. Interesting. We're just asking questions. Use this catchphrase against him. Oh, that would be glorious. Ace of Swords. Okay, these cards came up before in the first part. They got something on him. There is something that shady stuff that he's been involved in that's been under the radar or paused, but now it's coming. And he's trying to he's trying desperately to get ahead of it. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I have thoughts. Outcome is the Page of Wands. Um, messaging. Messaging about actions that have been taken. I don't know if this is his messaging about anti-Nazi stuff. But he's going to be talking more. It'll be interesting to follow Tucker Carlson and his... Uh, his thought trains, not that anybody here would be paying attention, right? But Tucker is going to be, it looks like he's going to be trying to do all sorts of damage control because something's coming for him. Something that he worked on in the past, something that, you know, now I think they're, they're just coming and it's not a subpoena. It's just, it's a voluntary interview. We have some questions we want to ask. Just asking questions, you know. <laughs> F that guy, man. Lying sack of garbage. Just asking questions. No, you're provoking people. You're basically saying lies. Um, and it looks like it's costing them opportunities. Hmm, I wonder if that three of wands also means freedom. Costing him his freedom. He might he might be looking at his freedom going away too. All right, um, Spirit, little four Carter, can you give us a little bit of a hint as to what this is about? We'll close it off with this. Can you give us a little more information as to what this is about? I have cards that look like they want to jump up <laughs> onto the top. It, it's going to be more than one thing. The, these cards, I'm trying to overhand shuffle here, and some of these cards are just absolutely going bananas. There we go. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles pops up. So, women and children. Is this really going to be the Pizzagate trafficking thing? And I don't mean the rumor of Pizzagate. I mean like, you know, the real Pizzagate that's going on. The, where the real trafficking is. I hate to keep going back to that one. But it's just... There, there's just... There's this huge thing that's about to blow up with trafficking. That's... Uh, and... Uh, I don't, the car, it's hard for me to figure out the cards that represent it, but I just keep getting this feeling on that one. All right. Spirit, what can you share with us? Little four carter. Uh, it's coming. Whatever it is, it's coming. Part of a conspiracy that he's involved in. A lot of money involved in it. Payouts. International. international issues 
hanged man. Looking at things differently. Willing sacrifice. Sacrificing. I don't think this is Tucker being uh, a hostage of it. I think this is women being a hostage of it. I still think it's trafficking. Human trafficking. Yeah. Information or... He's got information or culpability with something that have been happening around the world and is a big money thing. And this is like that conspiracy. That eight of swords. You know, if it's not human trafficking, it's something they pretty much have him dead to rights with. And he's stuck. He's... You know, it would be like if he were on Epstein's list for his plane and on Epstein's island, his name shows up there. And now they found his name involved with a you know, Southeast Asian uh, young boys or young girls or women's uh, uh, human trafficking ring or something, you know, just... It could be a web of connections that's basically drawn him into it. But it looks like, if if I were reading these cards correctly, it looks like some type of conspiracy thing that he's involved in. Again, entertainment purposes only. This is just, again, some random dude on the internet throwing tarot cards and coming up with uh, uh, outrageous accusations for your humor and enjoyment on your uh, with your morning coffee on March 1st. We'll find out. I would again. I would say keep an eye out on Tucker Carlson's uh, posts, kind of the tone and tenor about the stuff he's talking about. It'll probably be a tell or a give as to what he's been up to. This video has gone long enough. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for supporting Tarot of the Seven Seas. For those who've already jumped over there, where's my pin pad? <laughs> Thank you very much for supporting my other channel too. Nope, this way. <laughs> I look like Satch from the Bowery Boys. Or not Satch, but the uh, the guy who was the lead. Thank you for supporting Tarot of the Seven Seas. It's done a lot of growing. I really do appreciate your support for that. And for folks just discovering this channel recently, thank you very much for finding us. I hope you found this reading entertaining because it's an entertainment only and insightful. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.